Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, and we're starting Klal Ches, the eighth chapter. And he writes, Bechlal Zeh, in this Klal, in this chapter, Yevoyer Isser Sipa Lashon Hara Bechalin Yonav, we will explain the prohibition of speaking Lashon Hara in all of its different components and points. And he writes, Hine Bechlalim Shavu in all the previous Klalim, the chapters. I, we are explained clearly what is considered to be Lashon Hara and all the different variations. So to explain what it means to accept the words of Lashon Hara that you hear and also in all the different ways that it is done. Now in this Klal, in this chapter, we're going to begin to describe the prohibition of Lashon Hara as the way the Torah itself says, it's an Issa prohibition. And that is, number one, Mahusa Shalom we have to explain the Mahus, the essence and the characteristics of the speaker, the one that is saying Lashon Hora. Beis, the S, Shuhu Misaper Lav, and you have to explain the characteristics and the essence of the person that he's speaking about. Uh, Gimel, the third thing, Ve'ayishu Misaper Lefanov, we have to describe about the person who is it, the Lashon is being spoken to, who he's speaking in his presence, HaKol Kisidron, says the Chavetz Chaim, everything is going to be presented to you in a very systematic, clear way. So too, we're going to explain, in the accepting of the Lashon the same idea, all of the different variations and the details that are there, so you have it clear. And therefore, you that is reading should not be puzzled by what you're going to see. Sometimes, sometimes I bring down something that is very simple to understand. And one of the reasons is because since I want to be very systematic in what I'm writing, I just write it down word for word line by line, piece for piece, detail by detail, so it'll be very clear to the person that is reading. But number two says the Chavetz Chaim, and that is, because this idea of all the different details of Lashon Hara are things that people make mistakes in all the time. People often think that they are allowed to speak Lashon Hara because they don't understand the halacha clearly. And they continue to stumble and fall in the sin of Lashon Hara. So therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, I'm writing it very clearly so that everybody will understand black and white what is a mitzvah, what is an avera, what you could say, what you cannot say, when you can say, when you can't say. They'll know all the details and therefore they will guard themselves from speaking Lashon Hara. Vegam ayin hetiv, and so too. Um, and so too, if you look very carefully into the words, even though at the first glance it might look like I'm just repeating myself, but you'll be able to see a chiddush, a new idea in almost every topic that we speak about. And the first thing that we're going to describe starting tomorrow, Be'ez Hashem, is the mohus, the essence and the characteristics of the speaker, the person who is speaking the terrible words of Lashon Hara. Have a wonderful day.